Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this video is about making a seamless pattern that could go on forever and however big you want it or however small you want it. But it's just a repetitive pattern. The only thing I don't like about it, the only way I've figured out really to do it is use the power clip tool. And in some cases, the power clip causes trouble. But all you have to do to make this work is have you a square that's perfectly square at five inches or four or three, whatever you want. But then have your nudge factor at the same. And then just take flowers or whatever, horses. I was going to do horses at first. And don't, you know, don't even center them on the line. You know, have them in sporadically placed. So, and what I'm saying by that is don't have that flower right in the middle. You know, have it up there or have this one down. Then grab those three flowers and control D and make a duplicate and nudge them down. So now those flowers are over there. And just for a, a fact, I got these flowers from a botanical font. They're actually a font and not a, and you can find, a, I mean, these are fonts. These are letters. And let's just bring in another one, a new one for this one. We'll make this quite a bit smaller and we'll, let's flip it around this way and put it like right there. And what's gonna happen when you have that, it won't make it look like it's symmetrical. And then you could take, I'm gonna tell you what, let's put, whoop, don't ever move the box. Move that down a little bit and just take these two, hold down the shift key, control D and make a duplicate and nudge it over. Now I already see I've got a little bit of problem here. These two are kind of touching, so let's go back, take away the duplicate, and maybe mirror this guy and put him down a little bit. Then grab those two, control D, and make a duplicate. You just don't want them touching. And then you could bring in other flowers, like I don't have this flower yet. Make it a little, reduce it a little bit. Um, don't have this flower yet. Well, that's the same flower. Um, this one we've used, but we, well, we haven't used this, so let's make this quite a bit smaller and put it in here. And you could, you know, do this with a number of, of items, and those two flowers are going that way, so we could put this flower this way. And the only trick to it is that you need to I think it would be better to nudge that box out of the way and group this together. Control G, well, you need to group them together, but that'll look funny. No, then nudge this back because you want them exactly, you can't just move the power clipping over there, but then just grab your item and go up to object and power clip, place inside frame, and then you can right click no outline. You still got your nudge factor set on and see what I meant by, you know, some of them are up and down. Control D and make a duplicate and nudge it over. How many ever times you want, control D and nudge it down until your heart's content. This pattern's kind of cool because some of those flowers are going in the opposite direction. But you could do this with any vectorized clip art that you're gonna use. I mean, you could keep going, you know, you can grab the whole thing now and just control D and just hit it twice, three times. You know, you could make it as large as you wanted it. Now, like I said, the only thing I do not like about it, it's still a power clip. And you can tell there's something going on when you move it, you've got all these boxes. So I'm real curious in a printing situation, it might work. In a um, engraving, some people have had trouble with power clipping that would engrave outside the box. I might even take this out to the shop and make it real small and engrave it this afternoon. But anyway, that's how you'd make a seamless pattern. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.